Hey guys, welcome back. So I kind of thought I'd go through what parts I am deciding to swap in this initial entrance of the 2.5. Um, just to clarify, I do have plans and I have longer term things that I want to do with this engine, such as putting in cams. But first, I want to make sure that I am happy with the NC platform and I am happy with the swap because I did buy this car not running and no experience with an NC. So I wanna make sure that I do like the car and that I am happy with what it is um, before I go sticking money into mods to make it faster or whatever. Um, so I just wanna make sure that I am enjoying it. I am excited, I didn't realize, I thought these were five by 100, but they are five by 114.3. So we're gonna snag the S2000 wheels to go test this thing, yes. I'm really excited about that. Anyways, I'm gonna get into the parts that I am choosing to replace. Um, I, there is a lot that I am choosing to not replace and not refresh because, again, I do have intent to pull this engine and do cams and things like that. And at that point, I will refresh the other things because I will be happy with it and there will be a longevity with this car and engine. Um, starting off strong with the Ford PCV. Um, this is from a Ranger. I saw it on the NASA Speed write-up of how to do the 2.5 swap. I thought this was a good idea. I think I have seen some people do it without this, but I kind of liked the write-up on that and it seemed, this seemed smart to me. Maybe I won't use it, um, but I got it just in case. As of now, that is my intent. Um, some air, this is the oil filter housing gasket. We've got a new EGR gasket, pretty much just only got gaskets for the things that I'm going to be taking off and transferring because I want this to be cheap, I want this to be simple, I really don't need to do that much. This engine's low mileage and I have intent to take it out. Um, valve cover gaskets because we're going to use the 2 liter valve cover um, on here. Oil pan will also be from the 2 liter as well as the oil pickup will be from the 2 liter. That being said, um, I did get the delete kit. This was a bit of a splurge because as you can tell, I'm trying to do this as cheap as possible and with as minimal as possible. But this was something that I felt like was worth the splurge, if you will. I believe it was like $45 shipped for this uh, delete kit for the balancer in the oil pan. Um, but to me, it was worth it over drilling and tapping the engine just for the simplicity of my life and the lack there of tools that I am currently working with here. Um, personal judgment choice. Um, it was worth the splurge for me. Uh, new bolts, because we are going to be using the crank from the two liter. So I have a new crank bolt as well as the washer to go with it somewhere. Um, we have intake manifold gaskets, because we're gonna be swapping those. Um, the pigtail for, I believe this is the PCV. If I'm. I could be blanking on that, but I do believe this is for the PC. Um, I will have links to everything that I chose to purchase in the description. I have saved all of this for you guys on where to get it. Um, I'm going to be making a video of my cost on doing this swap and do with that information what you will. But it seemed to, you guys seem to really enjoy that with the K24 swap in the S2000, how much that cost me, what it took. This seems to be a lot simpler than that and is a lot more affordable than that. So I'm actually really excited about this and I feel kind of silly even making this video about what parts I'm getting and refreshing because it's really not much in comparison to the K series. Um, but you know what? Might as well put the information out there. Um, just some more O-rings for the water housing, oil gaskets, things like that. So just different O-rings because we are swapping some things over from the two liter and put some fresh o-rings while we're at it. Um, another o-ring for oiling. Um, allegedly, I'm really trusting the internet with this one, but allegedly this is the proper belt um, for the swap. Um, I do intend to keep AC in this thing, um, at least as of now, because I want to be able to drive this on the street, see how I feel about it. Um, maybe in the future, AC will be deleted. But as of right now, I really like the AC in this car. Summer's coming up. I do think that this is gonna be the car that I am driving and getting some comfortability with. So 
I'm definitely keeping AC. <laughs> exhaust manifold gasket and then this is the washer to go with the crank bolt um, since we are taking that from the two liter so pretty simple not much here um, there's a lot of things that are gonna be swapped from the two liter so I'm not including it in the what I purchased um, but I will definitely go into what I am using from that when we get there okay so the 2.5 showed up at work today. It's coming home with me now. I genuinely have no idea what is coming on this engine. I tried to set my expectations low and expect a bare engine, but I'm not sure if that's what I got. Um, we'll take it apart once we get home, take a look at it and see like what came on this engine. Um, Cause that's gonna tell me what other parts I need to order or not. So fingers crossed it came with everything I need. Um, yay, I'm excited it's here. Got here so quick and apparently, allegedly the engine's tested, so everything should be fine and it should just drop in okay. Um, I just gotta change a few things to do the swap, obviously. Um, but I'm gonna make a video once the swap is all done of my total, same as I did with the K24 and the S2000, same idea, like I'm going to list out what my swap took and what I did to it and you can do with that information what you will if you want to swap yours so I'll catch up with you guys shortly okay so I just got the Ranger um, PCV system installed super simple nothing changed I just took the tube from the two liter so great um, somebody RTV the corners of this I don't know Ford does that when it comes from the factory or Mazda, Ford, whatever. Um, not a Juliet thing. Um, I think if it has a gasket, I'm not gonna put anything else. I um, think it's gonna be okay. This one's going on a low mileage engine, so I'm not really worried about heat or anything that is maybe cause damage. I think we're gonna be okay. So, you do you. On yours, I mean, I don't know. I'm not worried about it. I think the gaskets are usually good enough. I want to say this almost looks OEM, which does make me kind of feel like, hmm, maybe I should put some on, but trust your gaskets, Ford. I messed up this valve cover. Although at some point, I want to get one from that Motorsports because they make an aluminum NC valve cover. And what would be even cooler than having two swapped cars, having two swapped cars with matching valve covers because they can powder coat them. So I think I will eventually do that when this becomes more serious. <laughs> both engines to work and I'm work working on swapping everything over um, most of the way done to be honest with you so this thing can hopefully just drop in back home okay so I thought I'd give you guys an update on the 2.5 swap and what's going on with that so I took both engines to work dismantled them both and put all of the parts pretty much from the 2 liter on the 2.5 um, you pretty much run everything from the 2 liter on the 2.5 um, I think the most intensive part was, which wasn't much, was just trimming the engine mount on the timing cover um, to clear the new belt that you're running, um, because obviously we have a different belt set up. 
Otherwise, swapping everything over was easy. Um, we used a special tool um, to remove the pilot bearing and put that in. Um, no big deal. It was all super easy, honestly. Like, I'm actually shocked how easy it was. Um, everything just bolted on. There was nothing that needed to be retapped. Like, everything's ready to go. It was very easy. Um, I didn't get a lot of videos because the shop does have music and I can't afford to get copyrighted here. So, I apologize for that. But overall, can't complain. Um, it's going very smooth. So, the engine's ready to go. And I will see you guys in the next video when we put the engine in. Peace out and I'll catch you in the next one.